So Sam the Trap Man, as he is known, has brought you into this area of forest and Sam helps lots of people set up conservation projects. And Sam, you help people understand the whole ecosystem so they can better restore it. So right now we're in a forest ecosystem. Tell us a bit about it. Totally, we're in this Fiordland rainforest, which is dictated by a huge amount of rain we get. It's wet here all the time. We've taken the five minutes out of the day when it's not raining. And um, it's, it's, it's got a, a huge variance of different trees. We've got uh, beech forest, yeah. which, you know, beech forest has these, these little seeds that drop on the ground and that's predominantly what uh, a lot of our birds eat, a lot of our insects eat and, and nowadays rats eat. And then we've got tortara and we've got uh, rimu and we've got miro, which are all the, our lovely fruiting species. Like I walk around when those guys are fruiting and when I'm doing my trap lines, I'm just hoovering up all these different fruits because they're so tasty. They're just like bush lollies, eh? Right. And so you can live off the forest here. Oh, absolutely. Like, it's so rich in food, which is incredible. And our birds love it for that reason, you know. The kia and uh, our kakariki as well. All of our parrots, they, they love those fruiting species. And so, um, yeah, when this place is fruiting in autumn, it's just loud with raucous birds wow. charged up on sugar, just like, you know, our kids when they have too many lollies. That's what they're like in autumn when there's fresh fruits. So some of those species must be found nowhere else. Absolutely. Um, we've got some unique species to Fjordland into this place and kakapo are one of those. They're our beautiful, fat land parrots. Yeah, they're amazing. Like a kia, but supersized. Yeah, for sure. Yep. And they're present just to here. We've also got species of kiwi that are unique. Lots of people don't know that there are many species of kiwi. And we've got a species here in Fiordland that's unique to Fiordland, which is pretty special. Um, there's lots of smaller birds as well, like tiaki um, and kakariki that are found in many other places, but this is really their stronghold. Right. Sure. So only being found here, what supports them to survive? It's this forest around us. You know, there's so many fruiting species of plant here that this forest gives them the nutrients they need to survive and, and to flourish. But, you know, it's one thing where there's no deer present and there's no possums present and there's no rats present because the birds can eat all of that food. But what we notice where we haven't controlled those species is that deer have hoovered up all of the young trees all of the edible trees, the possums have eaten all of that fruit and the rats have eaten all of that fruit and that seed as well. So it really leaves no food for our native species. And so, yeah, in this, in this ecosystem, we like to control those non-native species. Sure. Right. And it certainly looks like where we're sitting here that there's not a whole lot of mid-story. There's not a lot of plants growing up. So the deer must have really made an impact. Oh, absolutely. This place, this forest floor that we've got here is just littered with deer tracks. There's been deer moving through here in large numbers and hoovering up everything else. Anything that, all of these young plants that we see around us, not palatable to deer. They don't like to eat them. Right. They've eaten everything else that they like to eat and everything else is dead. So uh, we really need to get on top of the deer population if we want our native trees and our native birds to survive. Mm. And it's going to be really interesting visiting the likes of Anchor Island where there's been that trapping and the removal of, of species like deer to see how different it looks and so, to see all that food supply. Absolutely. Anchor Island's incredible. Indian Island is amazing as well. And there's some of our, our, uh, our last arcs really of, of, the, of how forest systems should be. Yeah. It's incredible. I love walking around there. I just walk around the forest and just eat all the fruit because uh, there aren't those those invasive predators, uh, those invasive herbiv herbivores that to eat them. Yeah, yeah and a lot more um, wildlife as a result. Can't wait to get there and see it. Hey, thanks, Sam. I'm excited. Yeah, pump. Let's get out there. I reckon.